are going to talk about fashion sheet of the eyeball. Let's look at the sagittal section of eyeball and optic nerve. This is the lens, vitreous body, and here is the sclera which covers the posterior part of the eyeball, and this is the transparent anterior part cornea. Here comes the optic nerve. It is covered by three meninges of the brain. If we get a cross section, this is the nerve. Here is the central vein and artery of the retina. First, it is surrounded by the pia mater, then subarachnoid space and arachnoid matter. Finally, the dura matter. This dark green color line is the facial sheath of the eyeball. It separates the eyeball from the orbital fat and provides a socket for the free movement of the eyeball. You can see it surrounds the eyeball from optic nerve to the scornoscleral junction. It is deficient in front over the cornea. Anterior margin of the sheath fuses with the conjunctiva. You know that this is the eyelid. And this is the bulbar conjunctiva and this is the palpable conjunctiva. Posteriorly, the sheet fuses with the dural sheet of the optic nerve. Let's move to another diagram. Extraocular muscles pierce the facial sheet at the equator of the eyeball so that sheet is reflected onto their tendons. Here is the superior rectus and this is the tendon of the superior oblique muscle. This is middle rectus, inferior oblique, inferior rectus, lateral rectus. Here you can see some openings in the fascial sheath. You know already that posteriorly it is pierced by the optic nerve. Also it is pierced by ciliary arteries and nerves and the associated veins, vena vorticosae. Let's move to another diagram. In here, you have to concentrate about the fascial sheath of the medial and lateral rectal muscle tendons. They are attached to the medial and lateral walls of the orbit by a triangular ligament called medial and lateral check ligaments. Then, the lower part of the fascial sheath passes beneath the eyeball and connects the check ligaments. This is called the suspensory ligament of the eye. It suspends the eyeball. Finally, the sheath of the inferior oblique reaches the floor of the orbit. I hope you got it. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.